Today we are going to introduce the InfoAssist charting feature, which provides a wide variety of options for displaying your data clearly and effectively. To create a chart, you can either expand a folder in the content view of the WebFocus homepage and click Chart, or in the Legacy homepage, right-click a folder in the Resources tree of the BI portal, point to New, and click Chart. From within InfoAssist, click New on the Quick Access Toolbar or Application menu, and then click Build a Chart. You will be prompted to pick a master file, which you will use to develop your chart. Once this is complete, InfoAssist opens in Chart Mode. The default format for a chart is the classic bar chart, but InfoAssist offers many other options. These are available on the Format tab. You can select one of the standard chart types, such as a pie chart, area chart, line chart, or map, or use one of the many chart types available in the other category. To add data to your chart, simply double-click a field in the data pane, or drag fields onto the canvas, or into field containers in the query pane. Different types of charts use data in different ways. For example, in a bar chart, Extra measures will produce extra bars in each group by default. Many other types of charts can use fields in the color, size, or detail field containers. Adding a measure into the color field container will add a color scale to the chart, while adding a dimension into this field container creates a color-coded legend, displaying aspects, bars, lines, or markers, for instance, for each component of the dimension on the canvas. The size of a chart component can be determined by a measure field. The Detail Field Container, used for scatter plots and other XY plot charts, uses a dimension field to determine how many points to plot on the chart. If there is no field specified in the Detail Field Container, the chart will show values for whichever dimension fields are in the other field containers. The values from the Detail Field Container also appear in the tooltip when you point to a marker on the chart at runtime. The tooltip provides precise data and additional information related to each value shown on the chart. You can add even more valuable information to the tooltip by adding fields to the tooltip field container. To filter a chart, drag a field into the filter pane, or use the filter option in the data tab. Filters help to narrow down your data by selectively including or excluding certain data values. Once you've added your data to the chart, you can customize it using the options available in the ribbon. Different tabs in the Chart Canvas contain different options for modifying your chart. The Home tab contains formatting and display options, such as the ability to choose a style sheet, using the Theme button to style the entire chart, add a header or footer, or change the output type. In addition to chart types, the Format tab contains label options and format options, as well as a few features that provide different options to allow users to interact with the chart at runtime. Auto-linking allows you to link your content to other content in your enterprise. Auto-drill allows you to explore the data hierarchies used in your chart. Insight turns your chart into an interactive analytics tool at runtime. And Info Mini allows you to provide your choice of ribbon functionalities to users at runtime. If your administrator has enabled it, you also have access to the Narrative Charts feature. Narrative charts tell the story of your data. When creating a bar, line, area, or pie chart, or visual in chart or visualization mode respectively, you can bring it to life with words that describe your data. For example, you can see the description of your data as you build your chart or visual. If you add a number of components, your narration may be long. In this case, you can use the scroll bar to review the narration in its entirety. You can use the Data tab to modify fields in the chart. Defines and Computes allow you to create new fields from existing ones, while Joins allow you to bring in related outside data sources. The Slicers tab allows you to add user-controlled filters for use in InfoMini. This allows users to manipulate the data that is visible to them at runtime. The Layout and View tabs allow you to modify the page layout and user interface respectively to suit your preferences. The Series tab can be used to modify or augment specific fields in the chart or all series depending on the menu selection. You can add data labels to your chart or change the marker type. For bar, line, and area charts, you can also use different chart types for different series. For example, you could have a bar graph and a line chart together in a single chart. If you select a field in your chart or in the query pane, the Field tab is enabled. This tab contains options to format or modify that specific field. Finally, save your chart from the application menu or quick access toolbar.
you can save your content to any available folder. Depending on the type of chart that you create, InfoAssist contains a wide variety of options for formatting your chart so that it meets your business needs, allowing you to communicate your information with maximum effectiveness. To learn more, visit the WebFocus 8205 Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.